Um, so. I only know 25 letters of the alphabet. How come? I don't know why. Selena. That was the worst one yet. <laughs> Selena, it's not fun. Why'd you knock on the fridge? Because there could be a salad dressing. What are you doing? I'm making holy water. What? You have to boil the hell out of it. What's up? What's brown and sticky? <laughs> Things and thoughts that break my brain. The fact that eyelids don't block out light completely is bullshit. Or that when clothes are wet, they're darker, yet water has no color. Or that Earth is a planet that tells other planets if their planets are not. And I find it kind of magical that every single country in the world has their own theme song, which everyone who lives there must memorize. How about the fact that a different version of you lives in the head of everyone that you've ever met? The way you see yourself is not at all how other people see you. Both glass and concrete are primarily made out of sand, which makes skyscrapers giant sand castles. The natural state of the universe is night, and the only reason we have daytime is because of a giant rotating ball of fire. What? Hey Adam. Yeah? It smells like up hottie out here. What's up hottie? <laughs> What's up <laughs> hottie? <laughs> yeah, you got me. <laughs> hey Taylor. What? I have a joke for you. God, no. <laughs> Why couldn't the T-Rex clap? Why? Because he said... <laughs> Knock knock. Who's there? Europe. You're a poo. <laughs> I'm not a poo. I'm not a poo. How dare you? I have another one. What's up? Knock knock. Who's there? I eat mop. I eat my poo. Oh, uh, Selena. I just tried to say Justin Timberlake out loud, but it came out as Jimber Timber. It's going down. I'm Jimber Timber. I accidentally tripped an old lady and I meant to say, I'm so fucking sorry, are you okay? What came out was, are you fucking sorry? <laughs> One time I went to hand someone a bowl of hot soup and my brain tried to say, careful, it's hot and here's your soup. Instead, I blurted out, careful, it's soup. <laughs> Brain cell number one, have a nice day. Brain cell number two, nah, have a good one. Mouth, have a jice done. <laughs> so I meant to say, oh crap, I left my phone in my car. But what I almost said was, oh no, I left my cone in my far. But damn, would not have been embarrassing. But I caught myself. What I actually said was, ah, my fart cone. I emailed my professor and meant to say, I'm worried. I don't understand some of the material for the next test, but I accidentally sent this. Dear Professor Allen, I'm worried. Yesterday at Target, the cashier said your receipt's in the bag, and I responded with you too, so I've been dealing with that for the past 18 hours, so I'm slowly coming to terms with it, which is cool. Been there. There's a big package on my porch, and I have not ordered a thing! She heavy, dudes! Baby! Guys! Look! It's perfect timing because spring has sprung! Go on the dark side, I... Oh, the fuck up. This is perfect, you know why? Just bought this at Hot Topic because I thought it was super cute, but I can't wear white, and I was like, that's my hot time, Ryan! Let's go, bitches! I know you look crazy. No makeup on Friday! I'm gonna start the spiral right at her mouth because I think it's gonna look sick. Look at how gorgeous they are. Observe. You know what, we're gonna do this all in one video, so if you like one video tie-dyes, then you have to like this, because I won't do them again if they won't do well, and I feel like people only come back when they think they have to come back. Give it a scrunch. Let's see how she turned out. There's no rules when it comes to tie-dye, shut your mouth. How did that turn out kind of okay? I don't know, it's gonna look better when it's dry, but I can't just make that happen, so I'm gonna go lay it over here. Bye. As you all know, I absolutely love to open up packages I find on my front porch. Adam knows 
this fax and has decided to do some things. He informed me this morning that he has just ordered a bunch of stuff for me to open that will make me happy. I applaud you, buddy. You're a keeper. Should I be nervous? No. What the? Adam! Why is Nicholas Cage in there? <laughs> what? Open it. Something's gonna happen. Look at what the heck? Why did you choose this? It's as magical as you are. <laughs> Hey Adam. What's up? What kind of eggs does an evil chicken lay? I don't know, Selena. What kind of eggs? What kind of eggs, Selena? Deviled eggs. <laughs> that was okay. <laughs> Last week, I kept seeing freeze-dried snacks all over the internet, and today I went to my farmer's market, and well, there's no way that I'm not. I love snacks. We have freeze-dried Skittles, freeze-dried marshmallows, freeze-dried strawberries, and a freeze-dried ice cream sandwich. Skittle time! They look like they've exploded. That's a game changer. That is phenomenal. Mess me alone. That tastes like Lucky Charms. Is that how they do it? Strawberries. Dust. <laughs> I'm not really in this hour. I am most excited about this. What? Oh my gosh. How to act when you see an attractive person. Make eye contact. Now look down, hold one, two, slowly look back, now look away. Soft smile, scratch your neck, lick your lips. Make eye contact. Now wink. Now with the other eye, now with both eyes. Now smolder, more fierce, stick out the tip of your tongue, now swallow really hard. Big deep breath. Eye contact. Now bite the tip of your finger. Now bite the middle of your finger. Now bite the base of your finger. Pull it out. Now subtly sniff your finger. Eye contact. Slowly start nodding yes. Yes. Now a little crazy in the eyes. Keep nodding. More nodding. More crazy and relax. Look back at them very quickly. Now look them up and down. Now lick your teeth and snap. Your mom stepped over the a nice Ford bro high five! Do you wanna go? Are you staying for dinner? I can put on more readers. Your Amazon package came. Did you? Happy hump day, here comes the camel! Hoi! I thought you were allergic to nuts. Thought I heard something. As you all know, I absolutely love to open up packages I find on my front porch. Adam knows this fax and has decided to do some things. He informed me this morning that he has just ordered a bunch of stuff for me to open that will make me happy. I applaud you, buddy. You're a keeper. Should I be nervous? No. What the? Adam! Why is Nicolas Cage in there? <laughs> what? Open it. Something's gonna happen. Look at what the heck? Why did you choose this? It's as magical as you are. <laughs> Nicholas, please. Love you. <laughs> I'd like to apologize to the nice gentleman who stood behind me in the line at the variety store around the corner from my house. I was just going there to get garbage bag tags, and I was waiting in line, and I was unaware anyone was behind me. Damn, COVID got me feral, and I forgot that I wasn't in my kitchen. I decided to push a fart, and I was wearing a mini skirt. It wasn't just the fart, it was a bit much. Anyways, created a Picasso on this man. Looked at him. He didn't look like he underappreciated it, but he definitely didn't appreciate it. Yeah? I'm awoken, and we have ourselves a predicament. Some of you know I am now in... Toronto! 
When I went to bed, I was alone, naked, under the covers. When I awoke in, my backpack was here. My room key was in my sheets. And my car keys. <laughs> Why are you in my bed? Then I looked down and there was my shoesies. Something about being in hotels just messes my brain up. So then I went for a little walkie to find my nighty. And my ponytail looks like a dead rat in the hallway. Oh, all I picture, all I picture is me walking around with my backpack on naked. I'm so sorry, Toronto, if you saw my dick old bitties. We need to go see if my car's here. Uh, please be there, please be there, please be there. Praise RuPaul, she's still here.